As pioneers in our field, with over three decades of documented clinical results, Integrum takes pride in the transformative influence the Oprah implant system has exerted on the lives of amputees worldwide. Our journey is fueled by the daily inspiration our patients and collaborative partners provide, propelling us towards continuous innovations and improvements in the realm of bone-anchored prosthetics. The Oprah implant system is indicated for patients who have a transfemoral amputation due to trauma or cancer, and who have, or are anticipated to have, rehabilitation problems with, or cannot use, conventional socket prosthesis. My amputation, original amputation was in 2015 due to sarcoma, which is a type of cancer behind my knee. Sockets, which is the way that you know, you usually attach a prosthetic to somebody who's an amputee, they weren't really working for me because of the shape and the size. So then I've had two surgeries since, so now I have a whole different leg attachment system than I had before. And that brings me back to, of course, two surgeries and then PT again, but it's a good investment of time and energy. In place of a traditional prosthetic socket, the titanium rod now allows Glenn to connect to the rest of the components of the prosthetic without having to wear a socket. Glenn's probably one of the first 100 people in the country to have this. This has been going on since back in the early 2000s, but in other countries. And then it slowly started getting integrated into the United States within the last five years. Um, and it started with military personnel, and now it's coming over to the civilian population. He can feel much more when he's walking in terms of what we call proprioception. So when he hits down, he can feel his heel on the ground and pushing off through his toe. So it's much more comfortable for him to walk and feels more like a realistic limb. It's hard to describe. If you imagine like every day that your foot could be in a different spot, how hard that would be to walk. And that's what you go through with a prosthetic. And sometimes you put that leg on and then it's jamming into you. So now it's the same spot. I have the same comfort level. It's predictable. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. But like the different modes I have, like I can lock my legs so I can go up a ladder if I need to go up a ladder. I have one where I can go on a bicycle now so I can ride a bicycle. And then the other ones are set up so I can throw a football because I coach football. So it allows my leg to bend to like either 18 degrees or, you know, I have one set up now for PT up to like 40 degrees so I can do squats and exercises. This knee is also waterproof and the battery lasts for seven days, which is amazing. So for me, Integrum has, has totally changed my life. So I was, I was 18 years old when I lost my leg. And at that time, the only way that they could get a prosthesis to stay on me was with a big titanium hip joint and this big thick leather belt around my waist. So I really never wore my prosthesis much. I would wear it when I had to, and then I'd come home and I'd take it off. And I just, I went through most of college never wearing my leg. So for, for me, Integrum and this whole journey with Integrum has taken me from being somebody who felt more natural, more able on my forearm crutches, not wearing a prosthesis, to now being somebody where I feel more natural wearing this prosthesis. We just did my first official walk on the beach last week. I love being down there and just to be able to, to go walk on the beach in comfort was, was huge. For my daily routine, especially with Oprah, uh, I like to say if my eyes are open, my legs are attached. Where before being a bilateral above the knee, if I was gonna hang around the house, there was a good chance I was gonna just stay in a wheelchair. Whereas now I click my legs on as soon as my eyes open and I go for the day. With the Integrum implant, I've basically gone from amputee and for lack of a better word, handicapped to in my mind, normal. I can feel my leg and it is my leg now. The ease and accessibility to donning and doffing uh, your prosthetics, it's instantaneous, literally. It takes seconds. So I can always be ready for any activity of the day that comes. Before I was miserable. I, you know, uh, 
it was a homebody. I didn't want to go anywhere, didn't want to be anywhere. I almost didn't want to be me. Now, I'm cracking jokes left and right. I, you know, I'm stumping people left and right. Um, it's, I feel me again, if not better, um, because now I, you know, I'm like Lego man, you know. I have a really cool leg that, you know, is, is the better part of me, it keeps me going. It's life changing. I mean, not a day goes by where I feel like I've made the right choice. I can't stand taking my leg off. I feel like I need to keep it on. In my socket, I dreaded putting it on. In fact, I would all rather crutch. And uh, a lot of you know doctors and, and medical personnel could tell you crutching is bad for you. I can keep up with life. Life doesn't have to keep up with me anymore. After losing my limbs, I was at a very low point. I was told by my original surgeon that my chances of walking were very slim because of the short nature of my residual limb. So with my tiny little short limbs, um, we decided to move forward with osteointegration. I've been learning in this process that I've got to really listen to my body. Um, the bones do take time to integrate and get strong, um, but I'm getting there. To nobody's surprise, Rochelle is doing great. She has essentially been on pace from a recovery perspective since stage one. What does the feedback feel like? I can feel everything. That's I mean, really? Yeah. Like you could feel the rubber or that you're on oh, something yeah. like that? Oh yeah. In fact, when I first got on these tennis shoes, I felt like I was on cloud nine. So when you got a real tennis shoe on, it like felt comfortable because <sighs> it was too much sensation. Yes. The benefit is the ability to feel the prosthesis and the interface between the prosthesis and the ground directly. So when we can feel what we're stepping on, we're able to walk with more confidence, have less falls, and have more independence in our gait. I was at a very low spot when I lost my legs, and um, my life is so much better now. And it's only gonna get better. Oh, oh, I get to hug somebody standing up. Mm -hmm. All my dreams are coming true. Who could be an Oprah candidate? Transfemoral amputee who currently has, or is anticipated to have, socket issues due to recurrent skin issues such as ulcers, pain, short limb length, scarring or skin grafts, excessive sweating, restricted mobility. Ask us, we invented it.